Hey, everybody. Hello, Warrior Nation. Hey, guys, we are back. We wanted and to come back and just give you our own personal feedback about this mattress. We are not being paid we to are give not. this opinion. Unfortunately. Yeah. But at some point, we might look into that. But right now, we are not getting paid for this. But we do want to let you know that the mattress that we chose, I'll let Vic tell you guys what he think first, since he was the one who really wanted a different mattress. Well, you got to tell them what the mattress name is. <laughs> hey, warriors. Y'all know what time it is. <laughs> it is pack up day. Vic. It's already hooked up, ready to go. He rode his bike to work today. And I'm in here putting the finishing touches on what we need inside. So, but first, I gotta share this with y'all. Okay, so I'm in here prepping, making sure we have our sheet, clean sheets, and the bed is looking right. This is our topper that we put on these mattress. That's y'all see how the size of that, the the, uh, the height of that mattress. So we added this pad to ours. Now it didn't cover the full width of the bed itself, as you can see that on each side of it. But it made a difference um, with this mattress, which these mattresses aren't very uh comfortable i'll say and although for myself it didn't really bother me a whole lot because the padding made it work for me but vic was always complaining about the mattress he and we started doing a little research on the mattress as you can see in our sleeping quarters we don't have a whole lot of room our front end this was kind of one of the drawbacks of this rig um but everything else all our other boxes was checked off so we said you know what let's just go for it and try to invest in a mattress um and that way we can uh have everything else that we want in a rig so but while i'm back here i happen to hear these brakes in the truck and so i go around and go in the house FedEx is putting this on the porch. So, you guys know this uh, mattress is not very light. The good <laughs> thing about this is we will get to try it out for this trip. So, I guess, in a sense, everything worked out. Uh, Vic don't know that it's here because, like I said, we weren't expecting this thing until Monday. And here it is, Friday, and it's on the porch. So, guys, stay tuned. I think we're going to probably put it out there before we leave. Okay, so we got it laid out. And it appears to be expanding. Um, we can kind of hear like an air. Like air from a tire, maybe. And it is starting to expand. It, it's a process. So it takes time. It, it, you just don't come out and then blow up like an air mattress. That's not how this works. So, we're going to let this do its thing. We're going to finish wrapping up our um, stuff and packing out and getting out of here. So, you guys stay tuned. All right. It has fluffed out, y'all. We took the plastic off. I think this one is like 12... No, I, I want to say 10.75 high. And this is supposed to cool you off. And I'm telling you, I can feel this. And this is cool. Oh, my God. This is really cool. Like to touch cool, which <clears throat> means it cools your body. Oh, this is going to be a nice sleep. We but this is how much it has blown up. Well, I shouldn't say blown up, huh? What should I say? Inflated. inflated. Vic said inflated. It has inflated. 
I'll let y'all see the side of it. Like, this is really nice. We're going to let y'all know how this sleeps. We're going to get our sheets on, get the bed made up and everything. And we're going to let y'all know um, how this thing sleeps. So, but we're not going to do that now. We're going to get out of hey, here. Hey, everybody. Hey, Warrior Nation. Hey, guys. We are back. And we are back to give you our honest opinion of this new mattress which is called the Brooklyn Arctic Dream. Now, we are not being paid mm -mm. to give our opinion on this mattress. So no. our, our honest opinion is what we think. Right. Hopefully, someday, we'll, we'll start getting paid for advertising for some <laughs> of this stuff. But for now, we are not. Um, but since Vic is the one who really pushed forward for us getting this mattress, I'll let you get his opinion and then I'll give my opinion. Okay, so you know all the RVs come with this cheap mattress. At least the travel trailers do. And it was bothering my back. I can sleep on the mattress for one day but if I try two days in a row my back and side was, it was just bothering me to the point that I had to get up and I would go sleep in, up in the front part or the back part. Mm -hmm. So we had to change uh, the mattress that we were getting. Right. We did a lot of research, mm -hmm. and I'm talking a lot of research before we made the decision about what we were going to get. Right. So I love it. Yeah. The first night that we had it and <laughs> went to sleep on it, I didn't want to get out of the bed. Right. It was that comfortable. And I'm always a late sleeper, so I slept even longer. Um, and so I usually get up 6.30, 7 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning. But I, I was getting up 8.39 around that time because the mattress is that comfortable. Yeah, we've, we've had the experience of sleeping on it for, I want to say, three trips. Mm -hmm. um, so, But we did want to bring you our opinion uh, did that wrap it up for your opinion? Anything? Yeah, it was it was uh, it was awkward to get in because it's in a box and it's completely rolled up, and the mattress is put in a plastic bag where they suck the air out of it to, you know, make it smaller. Mm -hmm. Then you take it out, take the plastic. You got to cut it a little bit, the plastic, and then lay it out on the bed. I mean it rises up. It like expands. Expands, mm -hmm. yes. So what we did was we, we were on one of our trips. Before we left, we put the mattress on the bed, cut it, cut the plastic, mm -hmm. and let it expand while we were driving. Right. And by the time we got there, it had expanded. And we were really pleased um, because one of the other reasons, other than it being uncomfortable, I think the bed, the the size bed that we had in this RV is uh, was a queen short. Yeah. That was the other thing. It was a queen short that came with the RV. And I was just thinking, if I just get a regular queen, because we have a little bit of space at the bottom of the bed where we still can kind of walk through. So if I get a regular queen, then I think we'll be okay. And we would get those few inches of length. No feet hanging off the bed. Right. We're, we're tall. We're, we're kind of both tall. And so I think that was a, a, a good choice, right? Mm -hmm. I think that was a great choice for us to expand the bed a little longer because that worked out perfect. So now not only do we have a comfortable bed to sleep in, we have the length, we have the quality mattress, and... We are pleased. I, I Like I said, I wanted to get a little bigger mattress. And so I went, um, we talked about getting the actual queen, which is what we have in the house is a queen. So if we get a queen out here, we know that will work for us. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys what it actually looked like. Let me see if I can get a corner of the bed off here. Oh, and it does have a, what is this, a cooling? It's a cooling, uh, the surface here. 
cool a cooling like gel. Yes. And you do not get hot laying in the bed. No, it gives you your body. It kind of cools your body. Yes, it it, it does. So I think um, this was definitely a plus for us. We are glad that um, trying to mess with this tripod, y'all. But we're glad that we um, went on and made this investment. And again, we just wanted to share that with you. We're sitting out here. We're getting ready to get out of here and go try to find us something to eat. So, with all that being said, with all that being said, with all that being said, I'm Vic, and I'm Corinne, and, and we, we are, are the Real Weekend, Weekend Warriors. Warriors. Peace, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.